Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex. And where is Danger Room Extreme? I want to know what Extreme is. I want to know what it means. Because honestly, I still like Danger Room, although I don't get to play it much because I don't have a lot of time to play it because I'm juggling multiple games because I don't have as much passion for Marvel Future Fight. And also because it can be frustrating to play with randos. Also, I don't have as much investment in Danger Room because there is a leaderboard, but these are not my characters. It's my skill level, but it's not my characters. So although I sort of... I downplayed and I didn't really think, oh nice, Marcus first place. Um, although I down I downplayed the issue of it not being your characters when in Danger Room first came out, the more time that passes, the more I feel like I really want Danger Room Extreme to be that, where you actually can only bring in your tier threes with your builds. Um, obviously they would have to tweak the enemy's HP, like the boss's HP, because if I go in with my rage, you know, Namor, I'm gonna one shot the boss with 10 million HP. Um, but I really hope they do that so that players actually feel like they should invest in their characters and build them up to tier three for whatever Danger Room Extreme brings. Hopefully Danger Room Extreme can drop like really good rewards like crystals and stuff like that and tier three materials. That would be amazing. Obviously I'm getting way ahead of myself. Netmarble is probably going to give us 50,000 gold and some clear tickets for Extreme. But uh, in the meantime, I want to do some Danger Room. I haven't done Danger Room video in a long time. Also, Danger Room has some pretty cool characters this week. I mean, obviously Ant-Man is amazing and everyone loves him. No, but seriously, um, I don't have Star-Lord Tier 3. So if I can possibly play a Star-Lord Tier 3, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Black Widow with the snowsuit is also really cool for Danger Room because she has iframe ignore and she basically doesn't get hit because she just does 5 and 4. So I think that would be quite entertaining. And then the rest of the characters besides Ant-Man are actually pretty fun to use. Mr. Fantastic's got the missiles. I mean, Sharon's a bit of a, an annoyance to use because of the targeting on her Tier 3 skill. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, as far as your compositions for this week goes, I th think my guess is that you want to use Star Lord Tier Three and Sharon Rogers for the synergy, like his leadership, and then and then Sharon Rogers, and then for the third, I would guess Black Widow because of the Berserk. But you could also use Mr. Fantastic. The Berserk, if you can time it with the with the Tier Three on Sharon or Star Lord, you're probably going to do insane damage because both of their Tier Threes have very high damage. But uh, the missiles may be more consistent than the Berserk. Um, but honestly, even using Namor is not the worst thing in the world. He's got the buffs, so he buffs you up. So maybe, you know, Namor lead for the crit rate with Black Widow and Sharon. And then just going buff, he buffs them and she buffs them with the Berserk could work as well. So there could possibly be multiple team comps here. But let's, um, let's hope that we can queue up with some randos who don't leave immediately or choose my characters. Hopefully I can play as either Star-Lord or Black Widow. That is my hope. Okay, there we go. So I got the leadership. If nobody leaves, I'm going to I'm gonna choose Star Lord lead and see what happens here. We got Batman and Prophet of War. That's cool. So yeah, Star Lord means that you should probably choose Sharon Rogers. Okay, he chooses Black Widow. So it means you should probably choose Namor is okay. Cool. Okay, let's try this again. Like I was saying, Namor has the second highest selection rate after Sharon. It's interesting um why they do that maybe for the boss we got gesso tat and sofo let's see what happens here okay he's gonna choose namor or he's not at his phone because it just defaults to whoever's top left okay sure star lord namor you probably should choose sharon rogers okay sharon rogers all right i think this could work too again uh, i think there are there are potentially multiple comps maybe a better comp or a best comp will um you know will show itself after a few days maybe you know, really hardcore uh, Danger Room players have already thought of uh, a build. I think if Danger Room had slightly better rewards, um, it would... Oh, oh, it's almost an exact uh, mirror match. I think if Danger Room had better rewards uh, or had a better reward system for daily players, I think more players would play it every day. Like, I think if there was, rather than just being one daily reward, which is the, bio, the 15 biometrics, the 15 random biometrics in the box, I think if they had... Um, a bar and you could fill up the bar, you know, and there was a reward for one two three four and five wins Sort of sort of like the um, the the pack that you purchase, right? Um, sort of like the pack that you purchase for um, The danger room characters. I Feel like that really incentivizes people to play danger room, but it only lasts for like a week Let's See how his tier 3 does Oh, nice, 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 nice. I don't know when you should cancel it. The damage is really nice so far. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Jess is doing all the damage, though. It's not me. I don't want to collect the uh, the energy because Jess should be collecting it because of the heal. I don't think the shield on on uh, on Star Lord is, is very good. Well, I just killed Star Lord, so that's cool. <gasps> Can I escape? Nope. <laughs> but we're murdering this guy because Jess Otat is is clearly a god with Sharon Rogers. Yeah, I think Sharon Rogers is a must. She just does way too much damage. Kind of was kind of hoping Starlord would do more damage. Oh, well, let me let me see what we get here. Sentry gun. Okay, that's kind of annoying for the enemy team. Okay, gotta be careful here. We don't want to. Uh, where is she? There she is. We don't want to get burned. Oh, I could drop that. Oh, I could drop the tier three. Ooh, that was quick. Okay, nice quick victory. We had the Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a scrub. So 4.2 million. What about there? It's 3 million. Okay, so I beat Lucas. Not bad, but 10 million on that Sharon was bonkers. Shout out to Jesso Tat. That was crazy. All right, let's see. We got uh, Namor lead on our team with uh, the enemy team having an Ant-Man. So I think it's going to come down to either the missiles or sh whichever Sharon Rogers is better, which I think it might actually come down to a lot. We got Dr. Siler and Major 4609. Let's go. So I chose Mr. Fantastic here. I could have chosen Black Widow, but I thought Mr. Fantastic just uh, matched the team composition a little bit better. But let's see here. We're going to run away to collect some energy. Mr. Fantastic has a really nice base movement speed, which is nice. Ultimately, you want to spam the skills before going to collect energy. Because that's going to build up your energy faster. But if the energy is right next to you, you might as well go and get it. And of course, then if stuff like this happens... You also want to take those, those, freebie, those freebie pot shots. Oh, somebody's lagging. You know when they run into the missiles that they're definitely lagging. You can get some you can get a free tap in there as well while she's charging up the uh, the firebirds to send at you. Come over here so I don't get burned. Give her a little slap. Oh no, don't die. I wanna go I'll pop up my tier three skill. That's the only thing I want to do. I don't care if I die now. Ah, pop the missiles, cheeky missiles. Old cheeky Nandos. Yeah, we're spanking these dudes. Although I'm very low HP. Kind of don't want to die. Oh my god, she sniped me! She sniped me from far away! She's like, auto attack. Wow, just like Jean Grey in PvP. Wow. Feels bad, man. All right, she's doing this attack here. What I like to do for this attack is I like to go to the very bottom of the screen so that I can see when the purple circles are coming, and then I try to run in the opposite direction of my teammate. This this part of the fight definitely takes some coordination because um, you know if you could if you could communicate with your team and say like go you know go left go right then obviously that would help a lot. Ooh, yellow one. I love the yellow. I love collecting the yellow one. So much fun to see what I like the like randomness of it. It is fun. I know I complain about RNG, but this kind of RNG is fine. I didn't get that energy. Oh, another yellow one. Uh-oh. I think I'm dead. Oh, get the tier 3. Yes! This is over, kind of. Missiles. Mr. Fantastic. Nice. He's not bad, eh? I mean, this this run is going, this run is taking longer. I think because there is Sharon is healing our boss a lot. I could be wrong. I have to not die here. Oh, I did, I did get my tier three off. Nice. Oda, 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 oda. Nice. Got her. Nice. That was a long fight, though. That was like three minutes. Not bad. Not, oh, eight and a half million damage from Major. Not bad. Five million from me with four missiles. Yeah. Yeah, see, their Sharon was doing everything. Wow, Ant-Man did half a million. Ski. That's bad. <sighs>
Let me in. Let me in. All right, fine then. I'm going to have to choose Black Widow. Fine. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Haha. -ha. No. Oh, why'd you choose Namor then? Why didn't you know when the guy chooses Sharon Rogers? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, you clown? Cam, Camova? Why don't you come over here so I can smack you in the head? You're gonna know Black Widow, but you're not gonna say anything about Sharon Rogers? What do we need with a 30% with a energy shield? Can you tell me that right now? What do we need with a 30% energy shield? Nothing, that's right. At least you get to see helicopters in the danger room. You should thank me. I'm a visionary. Look at this damage. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this damage. Look at this damage. In the hundreds. In the hundreds. In the hundreds of thousands. Look at this. I'm last place for damage. All right. All right. We're not, we got nobody cl click collecting the, uh, the energy. So I'm going to go collect it myself. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I, I berserked at the right time. Aha. Uh -huh. That was obviously all me. All right. So, yeah, that wasn't me. That was Sharon. <laughs> so, yes, you do need Sharon Rogers on any team. Ow. However. Oh, my team died. I might die here. Oh, I got the I got the yellow one. Oh, I got missiles. Oh, I died. <laughs> I ran right into the fire. Okay, nice. I'm doing pretty good though. Oh shit, they're coming back. They're coming back with the furious force. Everyone died again. Okay, so it seems like my team cannot stay alive. This is a problem. Yep, we're having a problem here. Did I berserk at the wrong time? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Black Widow's damage is not good, eh? I can't move. Imagine we lose after going like 50 bars up. Oh, it's so cool. The, the, the helicopter in the flames? That actually looks really cool. Collect the... Yo, Namor, could you just collect the yellow? Collect the yellow, dude. We could win with the yellow. See? Oh, it misses. Where's ours? Uh, hello? Where's mine? Oh, boss HP. Oh, so boss HP. So we won. Nice. Wow. 11 million damage. Okay, now I understand why Rock Beach hosts Sharon Rogers. He, they know how to play. Okay, there you go. Fine. Fair enough. So you know what? I don't think it matters what... <laughs> I don't think it matters what team composition you use. Just bring someone who can play Sharon Rogers or play Sharon Rogers yourself if you're good at it and get 11 million damage in, in a minute and a half and boom, you win. That is Danger Room for this week. Obviously, there are, there are actual team comps. Probably, my guess is Star-Lord, Sharon Rogers, Black Widow to just boost up Sharon or Star-Lord, Sharon, Namor, and then again, just boost up Sharon. Basically, just all praise be to female characters in Marvel Future Fight, Jean Grey, Sharon Rogers, Luna Snow, and everyone else can just go suck a toe. Let me know what you guys think of Danger Room. I actually have a lot of fun playing this game. I just don't do it enough. And like I said, the, the rewards for Danger Room are just not that spicy. Uh, so that's why I don't play it that much. Did I already open my chest? Yeah, I got like, I think I got like 50,000 gold. If they if they were to bump up the rewards, um, I think it would be better. Or if they were to make, you know, tiered rewards rather than just the proficiency bar going up. If they had like rewards for your first five wins of the day, uh, that would be awesome. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.